So today's the big day of the test. We're going to be taking Claude up to our local park and testing how fast he runs. Essentially, we're going to use two methods. We're going to use a Garmin watch, which we're going to strap to his collar. And we're also going to use something that's called a sports radar. It's one of those machines that you put on the floor and you can measure how fast your tennis serve is or how fast you can shoot a goal. Um, we haven't really tried it out yet. We don't know if it's going to work, but we're going to try both methods and see how we get on. So here's Claude, I don't know if you can see, but we have strapped the Garmin watch to his collar and now we're going to go up the local park and see how he gets on. Come on, let's go. You guys go first, I'll follow you. Best way we think we're going to test his speed is with a stick. Claude loves sticks, so we're just going to try a few tests first, aren't we? Hello! So let's throw this stick and go! Now, with the Garmin watch, it should pair with my phone, so in a few moments we'll be able to test out how fast he went. So, we're going to do a few trials. Claude, stick, stick! So this is, our, this is our little kind of sports radar gun, call it what you will, it's not really a gun. As you can see, that says 16 miles an hour. So I'm not sure how accurate it is, we're going to compare it to the Garmin watch later on. Put it down the track. A 9. It's not a great view in this light. So what we're going to do next is see if we get... We're going to see if we can get Claude to run past it. Right, here we go. So we've got Claude. Of anticipation. We've got my son there, he's going to be the official race marshal. We have a stick. What's this? Right, let's see if we can get Claude to track past it. Whoa. That's a 14 mile an hour. So we've got him doing 14 miles per hour. One, two, three, go. You got 16. So six-year-old kid does 16 miles an hour. Looks like the French is doing 14. We're going to still do some more tests. Claude, what's this? What's this? Right. One, two, three, go! Back. 17 miles an hour. I wasn't really sure if that last test was tracking the speed of the stick or the speed of the Frenchie. So what I'm going to try and do this time is throw the stick behind the radar and hope that Claude runs in front of it. Are you ready? Go! Ah dang! Didn't work. Okay. I've got another attempt now. I'm going to try and throw the stick high in the air. Hopefully that won't trip the radar and then see if Claude runs past it so we get more accurate reading. Right, one, two, stand back a bit. Ah, he's run too far away from it. He's run too far away from it. Right, that definitely trapped Claw because the light didn't go until the dog ran past it. That's saying 12 now. That's actually saying. 17. That was with me tricking Claude like I was going to throw the stick. We'll try it again and try and trick him so that way we know that the stick's not going to be triggering the speed cam, the speed radar, whatever it's called. Right, back, 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 back. One, two, three, go. Ah, it's the wrong side. Come here. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Right, so we kind of got to the end of our test. We don't really know how accurate it's been. I'm going to get home, look at the Garmin data a bit properly and review back some of the video. We seem to get 70 miles per hour on one of the, um, well, on the radar at least. 
once we've figured out the best way to do it, but who knows how accurate it is. We'll have a look at the Garmin data as well. So you'll see that in a minute. So here we have like the Garmin Connect count. This is where you upload all the running data. Now normally I'll be using it for doing my own runs, but here you can see one of the tests we did with Claude. We did about, I think in the end, three, three goes over a few days with the sports watch. So you can see the reason I'm showing this one, because this was the one he achieved his top speed on. If we scroll on down here, we've got the speed data here, maximum speed of 22.9 kilometers per hour. Now this is the same from that smartphone screenshot I showed you in the video earlier. We flip over to this kilometers to miles per hour converter. That puts it just over 14 miles per hour. But the thing was, of course, we saw so those higher speeds with the radar at 17 miles per hour. So I personally think that the radar is probably going to be more accurate. Um, I think if we'd left the sports watch on Claude for a few hours um, during the day, we might have got more accurate data, but I think we have to go with the speed radar. So how fast can a French Bulldog run? Seems to me it could be 17 miles per hour. If you think you've got a faster Frenchie, um, it'd be great to see you responding to this video with your own test and seeing, seeing if you can beat his top speed.